Hi everyone. We're back again for another tutorial and I promised um, if I got a hundred likes on this beautiful bracelet I would do a tutorial on it. And the name I've chosen for this bracelet is called Picotila Bracelet because it does have little picots on the top here. It's really thin, it's really lightweight and it fits really nice. It fits comfortably. It sits comfortable on your wrist. It doesn't twist or turn or I made this one a little bit big for my wrist but what the heck. So for today's project what you're going to need is two different color delicas and I'm going to do a replica of this because I have to make this for someone. This exact bracelet that they like so much. So you're going to need two size 11 Oh, delicas. You're going to need whatever choice of colors you pick. Um, I'm using white tila beads. You're going to need some 15 O seed beads and these are tohos. You're going to need a clasp or toggle. I'm using a toggle. You're going to need two wire protectors. You're going to need um, thread, you can use Ceylon thread, you can use whatever color kind of thread that you want. I'm using today, I'm going to use 1G and this thread is better than uh, Nymo thread. It's much more expensive and as you can see it's just a tiny little bobbin and it's like five dollars and something cents on the internet. But it is, uh, it doesn't fray. You don't have to wax this thread. Um, it's just really strong, strong beading thread and it's nice and thin because today we have to use a size 12 beading needle and the reason we're using a size 12 beading needle is because we need to go through all our beads and it's really tough to do um, with a size 10 beading needle or size 11. You're going to need um, two wire protectors um, like I said before you, if you don't have them, that's okay. Just sew your toggle on the same way as you always. Mind you, these give your bracelet a much longer life if you use these. Especially if you're using a thread like this or Nymo. Or you can use um, Ceylon thread. But purple's just not my color for this. <laughs> but anyway, gather all your materials. Oh, and you're going to need a pair of scissors. And that's it. That's all. Gather all your mate materials and beat along with me. Okay, to get started, I strung on a massive amount of thread. Now, I made this bracelet um, a couple of times and I found that where I've had to tie on and tie off, the bracelet came apart. So, um, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to string out about, there's got to be four yards on here. <laughs> I hate knots. I'm probably going to get a ton of knots, but I'd rather get a few knots and pull the knots out as opposed to having my bracelet come apart. So I don't recommend that you join it anywhere in this bracelet. So first off, you're going to pick up two Tila beads. Like so. Let me bring the camera in a little bit. So two Tila beads. Bring those down to the end. Like I said, we've got massive amounts of thread. <laughs> and leave yourself a good six inch tail. A good six inch tail. Okay. So you're just going to come back through the same hole and make a circle and you're going to join these. I don't want knots, please. Like so. And that's all you have to do. Make a circle and join them. Now we're going to sew on our toggle, keeping the tail wrapped around your finger so it stays nice and tight. And go into the next hole, like so. It's going to be a little finicky at first, but it'll start to 
it'll start to be better I assume. so what you're going to do for first is you're going to pick up five of one of your colors for your toggle five you're going to pick up your wire protector if you're using one and you're going to bring these down and the only reason I'm bringing them down is because I do not want this thread to knot so I'm bringing it down like so you're going to put one end of your toggle on your wire protector like so and give it a little pinch here to close it in there so it doesn't fall out while you're sewing it in and you're going to go through your toggle and I see a knot already forming we'll get rid of this knot real quick oh boy <laughs> there we go and then you're going to go down the other side of your toggle and into the first two beads in this in this so you're gonna go down and if you're using a lot of thread pull slowly if you pull slowly you won't get so many knots then you need to go into the first two beads as I mentioned like so Okay, pull this tighter. Alright, and pick up three more of your delicas. You've just made one half of your circle, so you just go right back into that same bead. Coming out where you started. Because you're just going to make a circle. and pull tight. And then you're going to go through all of these again and reinforce this at least three times. It will sit straight once you start reinforcing it. Because you notice this one went straight too. So, see? So I'll come back after we've gotten it reinforced three times. Okay, so we've gotten this good and reinforced. Now what you're going to do is you're exiting out of still holding on to this tail, of course, because it's kind of your your work is pretty loose right now. So you want to keep this tension pretty tight. So you're coming out of the tila bead here where you've reinforced. Then you're going to pick up two of your other color of delicas. Two. You're going to go down and through the hole like so. On the other side of the tila bead. There's two holes on these. And you're going to pull it tight. You're going to pick up two more black ones. Then you're going to go back up and through the Delica, sitting on top like so. And pull it like so. you have this. 
Then you're going to pick up two of other color of Delica and go back through Oopsies. Wow, that's a big knot. All right, I'll be back when I get that knot out. Okay, so this is what you've got. You're through this black one, you're going to pick up two more silver or whatever color you're using. You're going to go through all these beads the Tila bead, the two Delicas, and you're going to come out at the top. Like so. This is what you should have. Then you're going to pick up 115. Then you're going to go back down through all these beads again until you're exiting on the top of that bead there. Like so. And pull very gently. And pull it tight. And then your white bead should sit perfectly on top there. You're going to do the same thing here. Pick up a Delica or 11 or 13. 15 ohm, and you're going to just go right back through all of these beads. And it should again sit on there like so. So that completes one pico on each side of your Tila beads. Now, to get into position for the next Tila bead, you just go through all your beads and exit only through the Tila bead and not through your Delica. So you're going to come out there. Okay. Wow. I see a mess happening. I don't know if you remember me saying that I hate knots. <laughs> and with a longer piece of thread you're apt to get a ton of knots alright so we've exited pull this tight like so now you're going to pick up one of your Delicas I'm using silver in this case and then you're just going to go into the next bead like so now it should start tightening up too because you're going to be going through this a couple of times so it sits like that Pick up another one, go back down only through the Tila bead and not any of the Delicas. And again, you got to kind of bend, push this Delica out of the way and get your needle through like so. Okay. And put it in place. Pull tight. And this is what you've got now so far. So go through the Delica, back through the Tila bead, and making sure you pull your work nice and tight. And then you're going to pick up two more black ones or your whatever color you're using. You're going to go across your Tila bead like so, and you're going to pull. Pick up two more black ones or whatever color. Up through the Tila bead and through the Delica. So going through this bracelet, you know, we're going through this quite a few times. It's good and reinforced. And pick up your other two coordinating colors. In this case, I'm using silver. Pick up two more silver and go through all the beads like so. Okay, like that. And pull. And a knot. Yay, I got a knot. 
love these notes. Sometimes you can't even see. There we go. It's always my tail that tangles, wraps around the thread constantly. Where I fold my thread over. Okay, pull this nice and tight, like so. Pick up a 15 0. Go through the delicas, all of them, to put your 15 0 in place on top. And it'll always go nicely on top, like so. Again, 15 0. Through your delicas. Like so, pull, and pull tight. And then again, you're going to just keep repeating this step through your 15-0, and you want to exit out of the Tila bead, like so. Now you're going to pick up a tila bead. Pick up one. Go only through the tila beads at this time. No more delicas right there. And through the tila bead like so. And kind of help it in there so you don't cut your thread. And you have your next tila bead in. Pick up your silver bead, go through the tila, pull it tight. It's going to take a little bit of maneuvering, but it'll get in there. And back through your tila, like so. That snoring you hear is my dog. <laughs> She's laying beside me. And through there. Through You've exited through your bead that you put on. And then you're going to go back up through the tila bead. Like so. And you're going to pick up two black ones through the next hole in the tila bead. Pick up two more and exit through your delica, your black delica on the other side. Like so. Pull tight. Keep your work nice and tight. Pick up two colored coordinating whichever AB colors and pull that tight and I just saw a knot. It's always this tail that wraps around. That's what you got to be really careful with why you've got to pull slow. All right, pick up two more through your delicas. <clears throat> and like so and pull tight pick up a 15 -0, down through your delicas through the tila bead and across to the other delicas like so and pull and put your 15 -0 in place on top like so and how did I get through this delica? Okay. Not too sure what I did here. Let's see if I can pull this out. Okay, went through the wrong delica. Imagine that. <laughs> it looked like the right one. <laughs> oh dear. So don't do what I did, okay? Pick up the 50 no. Just one. Please, thanks. And back through all your beads again, like so. And pull. Pull nice and slow. And pull tight. So you have this. 
Toby. <coughs> Tope Tope, come here. All right. Sorry about the dogs. I've got the door open. It's a nice, cool breeze. Breezy day today where I'm at. And they can see outside and they bark at every dog that walks by. All right, so this is what you need to do. Exit out of the Tila bead only. Don't exit through any of your delicas. And pull. And give it a good pull. So this is what you're going to have to do right across to the end of your bracelet. It's very simple, very easy. And once you get to the end of your bracelet, um, keep measuring it on your wrist, as I did with this, but it ended up being too big. But that's okay. Um, somebody will buy it. So do that, and I'll come back and teach you how to put your clasp on tied off, and you're good to go. Okay. Now we have this part all done. Now we're going to sew on our clasp. So you end it here. Oops. I need to focus more on this. All right, pick up five silver seed beads. Pick up your last wire protector and your last piece of your toggle. Slip it on the wire protector and pinch it closed. And pull it down. Now go through your toggle. back down the other side of your wire protector like so. I think I kind of pinched this too much. And through the first two beads that you strung on here. And then you're going to pick up three more. And you're going to make a circle and go back through just the Tila bead. Try not to catch any of the Delicas in there. Just these guys and it can be challenging like so and pull so there's your other end of your class now reinforce this two three times and I'll come back and show you how to tie it off and how to weave in your six inch tap Okay, once you've gone around three times, now it's time to tie your threads off. So, you're just going to tie off exactly where you last went through that bead, and you're going to wrap your needle twice in the loop to make a surgeon's knot, and make sure you don't catch the bead, and pull it tight. And I'm just going to go through the beads that I used for the clasp, And pull my knot inside there and again another half hitch knot twice around the loop and pull. So because you're using a size 12 beading needle you can go probably through your entire work four times without breaking any beads. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go through Oh my god, the wire protector. Where are my scissors? My thread is not completely over the wire protector the way it should be. A piece of it is snagged. And there you go. It's fixed. Alright, up through the wire protector. Back down the other side, through a bead, and make sure you catch it in there.
like so and pull tight. Alright. Now it's kind of tricky to get it in here, but you'll get it. And go all the way back down through the other side. Like so. And pull it tight. Make sure you double check. Make sure all your threads are cut. And through the teal bead. And you can cut your thread off. And for the six inch tail that we left here, you're going to thread your needle on there and you're going to weave through some beads and tie some half inch knots. And there you go. There's your Pico Tila bracelet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. My Facebook is underneath the show me more. And have yourself a great week. Bye.